Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, John Howell here. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering the S&P 500, the Dow Jones and NASDAQ. And we're gonna be really looking at the very short term. In the past few videos, I've looked at the overall picture and so on and so forth. But we're really, really gonna be studying the, uh, the markets right now. What's happening right now in the markets? And then we're going to be playing the what if scenarios. Now, most traders out there that go, oh, if, 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 you know, and the thing is about trading guys is that most of the time, or no, all the time that when we're trading, we need to say, okay, market, you tell me what's going on, what you're likely to do so I can make a decision based on that um, or not, right? Now you're making a decision based on anything else, right? Um, as you can see, it's all about um, having a system. But when looking at the markets, there's either two things that's going on. We're either likely to keep moving up, likely to keep moving down, or likely to keep moving sideways. So if the market is not giving us a clear direction of anything likely to move in a direction, then don't get involved with that market. Makes sense, right? And that's where the if scenarios, if we do this, then this is likely to happen. That's the probability, and that's where we, that's where we trade, right? So, with all that foundation I just mentioned there, let's get straight into the markets right now. Let's start with the good old S and P five hundred. So, what's going on? What's going on right now with the S and P five hundred? Well, for starters, what we can see here, we're still getting, we're really getting a lot of sideways phase through here, as you can see. I see this pretty sideways channel through here. We really have been rejecting at this. Uh, what is that level through there? Uh, it's pretty, well, pretty much where it is right now, right? So the 2,836 level, right? So we're really we're sort of finding a lot of resistance through here over the last sort of couple of weeks, last two, three weeks of this resistance here. And now we've also found a lot of support, a lot of support and a lot of support right now. So we're going sideways. So if we had to say, okay, is there a probability of this breaking up and running up? Is there a probability of this breaking down and running down right now as the market is giving us direction? No, right? There is no, right? Because we could either break up and continue up or we could either break down and continue down. We need to wait for what? A, some sort of a breakout first, right? Because a breakout above this level through here, which is this level support back here, guess what? Then, then the market, if it breaks out there, what happens? The market loves to what? Run to the next resistance level or the next the ne yeah, the next resistance level. So if we break a level of, which as you can see, resistance through here, which was support in the past, if it breaks that, especially strong with an increase in volume, then the probability is we're likely to race to what? There. That could be a trading opportunity. Now, I'm not saying just trade on that because if you do, trading is all about probability. The only way you're going to see a probability in a trading system, if you take the, if you take 10 at least 10 trades of the exact same system, right? Therefore, you're going to see the win-loss ratio and the probability of that system playing working in your favor long-term, okay? So we can see that's what's happening right now. So if the market does break up, break up above here, we definitely like it to raise this level here. And if we do keep, keep doing that, then just above that, the 3,100, that if we do, do if, we, if we do do, right? If we do do, right, the do do, 3,100, <laughs> <laughs> do do 3100 guess what we're not going to continue rolling up to the 3300 level there which is what z gap z gap on the uh, on the s p right so that's what we're seeing there right now let's go to the dow jones and we're seeing sort of the same thing right we're seeing how we had look at the dow jones right this is just all this sideways movement not much going on it's just like yeah boy yeah boy right um <laughs> same thing right look at this here 15 trading days, right? 5, 10, 15. I was just count. Uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering what I, was doing, what I was doing then, I was calculating in my head how many trading days to a week. Can you get that? <laughs> I was calculating. I got, and then I said, okay, if there's five trading days to a week and we had 15 days, oh, that's three. <laughs> that's, three that's three weeks. Oh, happy Monday to you guys. Or you guys are in America. Happy or, or happy Sunday to you guys. As I'm doing this recording anyway, it's Monday morning here for me and the Aussies. Um, and 
<laughs> oh man. So if we break this 24,000 level, uh, I believe 27,000. I've always had a target of 27,000. So I believe that Dow Jones is likely to start to see a nice move from here. We are still in a very nice upward trend. So the trend still is intact. So if we do break up, this is just continuing this nice move up. Due to the fact that we're actually holding here, we're holding here without getting any strong sellers right now, tells me that the probability is likely to go up than down, right? Because if the strong, if the sellers were strong, then we'd probably like it to rally up, pause a little bit, and then drop. We've rallied up, paused for quite some time, then we're likely to just continue that, right? So it's, and we can see here, uh, the market has done, the market did done good. Um, <laughs> the market didn't done good. Wow. Um, <laughs> this low, this higher low, rallied up, sideways, resting phase, right? So pull, right up, pull back, rally up, pull back. So with a very good probability, we're likely to continue up and continue up from here, looking at the Dow Jones uh, from there. Let's move on to the NASDAQ. What's the NASDAQ doing? Wow, the NASDAQ is just one overall sideways, same as the other indices, but the NASDAQ is just absolutely on a steaming pile of move to the upside, right? It's just very nice to the upside. Very, very, absolutely very, 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 very nice. Look at this low through here. We had this major low through here. Came down, bam, 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 right? Bam, bam, bam. Uh, bam, bam, right? <laughs> Flintstones, bam, bam. Is that, where, is that where Bam Bam is from? Is it Flintstones? I don't know. So the market rallies back up, a little higher low, rally back up, come back down, look at here. Drop back down. <gasps> That's it, the world's over, it's gonna start crashing. And then the market rallies back up, right? So very nice bullish upward trend. Don't fight it, don't fight it. Yes, we may start to break down. But look at this here, we're squeezing up with a bit of a triangle pattern here, aren't we? So I wouldn't be too quite surprised to see that moving forward early. And then, where's that gap, right? So we've got a gap up here, just, up, just above here. So there's a, there's a Z, there's a very, Z, very, very, very probability, um, probably like over 90%, I would say, that that once we do start to break up above here, we're now likely to go, do, 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 right? Do, 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 do. We're like, do, 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 right? <laughs> Man, uh, <laughs> so that's what we're seeing through there, guys, on the indices. Obviously, anything can happen. So if we start the breakdown, we reanalyze. What's the market telling us right now? No, right now, S and P, Dow Jones, and the and the Nasdaq are all not doing much right now. So depending on where they break right now is the, is where we're likely to start to see if we do break up. Which I, that's to me that the probability of this that happening, then we're likely to see a very nice bullish week moving forward. Traders, I am running a free training, and on this free training, I'm gonna walk you through my number one trading system for the last 15 years. If you're wondering, what is my trading system? How do I actually trade the markets? What sort of setups do I look for? Then this is for you. See, on this, I'm gonna walk you through all the details, but I'm gonna walk you through the three secrets. The secret number one is I'm gonna walk you through the one thing that took me from $250,000 in debt and almost went bankrupt, to actually shifting to actually making money from the market. So I'm gonna talk about that one thing. Secret number two, I'm gonna walk you through all the steps and all the details to my trading system. I'm not gonna hold anything back. You're gonna learn all the details to this. So you two, when you leave, you'll be able to see exactly how I trade the markets and what sort of setups I look for so you can start to apply it today as well too. And secret number three, I'm going to show you exactly how and, and, and how I trade the markets for only one hour per day as well too. So I'm going to walk you through everything through. So if you're struggling with the trading right now, you need to see this. If you're looking for a really high probability uh, trading system that gets like over 90% success rate, then this is for you as well too. And, it, and if you're looking for a way to be able to have freedom in your life, but also condense that down with a really good trading system, then secret number three, you're going to love that as well too. So I'm running that free training today, so go to johnsfreetraining.com right now, and I'll see you there.